Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Sakhir Palace. The meeting reviewed a number of local affairs that support advancement and progress for the benefit of citizens and discussed regional and international developments. His Majesty the King hailed the efforts of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in enhancing the kingdom's development and government's work to achieve the desired goals. His Majesty expressed appreciation to all national efforts led by His Royal Highness in combating COVID-19, which enabled Bahrain to overcome the effects of the pandemic on the health and economic levels and to resume normal life with the required speed. His Majesty noted that the COVID-19 pandemic has proven the competency of Bahraini frontline workers, including the Bahrain Defense Force, the Ministry of Interior, health caterers and all supporting authorities who set an example of dedication and demonstrated the integration of the national health system. His Majesty the King praised the advanced levels of cooperation between between the executive and legislative authority, affirming its importance for the development of Bahrain and the fulfillment of the aspirations of its people. His Majesty praised the role of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister, Bahrain International Circuit employees and all parties that contributed in the Kingdom's success in hosting the Formula One Gulf Fair Bahrain Grand Prix races for 18 years. His Majesty noted the distinction in the 18th edition of the race in terms of preparation, organization and attendance, which reflects the pioneering role of Bahraini youth and their creative abilities in organizing major sporting events, which strengthened the kingdom's position as an important station for this international race and sport. The cabinet condemned the continuous attacks of the terrorist Houthis with ballistic missiles and explosives laden drones on civilians, economic and oil facilities in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, which violates all international laws and proves that they are challenging peace-supporting world countries. The cabinet calls those countries to assume their responsibilities towards these deliberate and systematic terrorist attacks that threaten regional security and stability, endanger energy supplies and the stability of the global economy and affect international peace. It affirmed Bahrain's support to Saudi Arabia in all the measures it takes to protect its security, safety and stability. His Majesty the King affirmed the importance of continuing the development of coordination and cooperation between GCC countries and the allies and friendly countries to support regional solidarity and stability and enhance its regional and a global role through unifying stances and developing partnership with the world countries. Regarding the developments in Ukraine, the cabinet expressed concern about the continuation of war, calling on all parties to de-escalate and to resort to dialogue and diplomatic means to end the war and settle the dispute through direct negotiations and by peaceful means and through adherence to signed agreements and covenants and the protection of security and peace. The cabinet affirms the necessity for providing humanitarian conditions and protection for civilians, ensuring their safety, opening safe passages for them, and delivering humanitarian aid as soon as possible. It expressed appreciation for all efforts made in that regard, asserting that Bahrain's contribution to supporting humanitarian efforts in Ukraine is a humanitarian duty to alleviate the suffering of those in need. The cabinet expressed Bahrain's aspiration to stop media the escalation by all parties as past events, especially in the Arab world, proved its negative effect on inflaming situations and prolonging war and conflict, and it does not ensure global security and stability. His Majesty then congratulated the chairman and members of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry of the 30th election of its board of directors wishing them success in continuing their march of supporting the commercial sector and enhancing economic development. He hailed the elections organization and integrity. The Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, affirming that His Majesty's vision and the directives of His Royal Highness are the Cabinet's approach for handling various circumstances witnessed by the world, as a result of which the plans and programs implemented by Team Bahrain were developed, which contributed to placing Bahrain in the best position.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the success of the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2022 in its new edition. His Majesty the King praised the dedicated efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and all those who worked with him to ensure the success of the global sporting event and maintain its international standing. His Majesty said that the success of the championship reflects Bahrain standing and good reputation despite the challenges and the regulations inquired by the health conditions in the world. In the cable, His Majesty prayed to Allah the Almighty to guide His Royal Highness, wishing him success in his efforts across all fields to attain more honorable achievements. His Majesty the King also received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, on the successful organization of the Formula One Gulf Fair Bahrain Grand Prix 2022. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, attributed the success of the global sporting event to His Majesty the King's care and keen interest to further bolster the kingdom's standing at all levels, hailing Team Bahrain's dedicated contributions. His Royal Highness pledged to His Majesty the King to continue the dedicated world in line with the loyal directives to achieve development goals and attain more successes and achievements which would further bolster Bahrain's standing on the map of international events and races. In the cable, His Royal Highness prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless His Majesty the King with abundant health, wellness and long life, pushing Bahrain and its people for the development and progress under the wise leadership of His Majesty. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the National Guard Commander General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa on the success of the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2022 in its new edition. In the cable, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed hailed Bahrain's continuous success in hosting major international events, which he said reflects His Majesty the King's utmost care and support to further bolster Bahrain's standing on the map of global sporting events. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed wished His Majesty the King good health and happiness and Bahrain further development, progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa on the great success in organizing and holding the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2022. His Highness praised the advanced position and capacity of Bahrain in hosting this international sporting event over many years thanks to the generous care and continuous support of His Majesty the King to rise the achievements of the Kingdom in all fields and at various levels. The Deputy Prime Minister confirmed that this sporting achievement and this remarkable success, which won international praise and admiration, came from the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and his leadership of Team Bahrain. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa on the success of the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2022. His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa attributed the success of the global sporting event to His Majesty the King's directives, determination and strong will. He commended the dedication efforts of Team Bahrain led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister which reflected the Kingdom's standing and added further economic, social and media achievements. In the cable, His Highness Sheikh Ali paid tribute to Team Bahrain, praising the dedicated efforts and determination to honor Bahrain. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, received a cable of congratulations from the PDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, on the success of organizing and holding the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. The Commander-in-Chief affirmed that it added more economic, social and media gains to the Kingdom and was achieved thanks to the follow-up and directives of His Majesty the King. He praised the efforts made in organizing this global event and wished the Kingdom further progress and prosperity. 
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of thanks from the chairman of the BCCI, Samir Abdullah Nas, who extended to His Majesty on behalf of BCCI's new board of directors most sincere thanks and gratitude for his congratulatory cable. The BCCI board chairman expressed a sincere thanks to His Majesty the King, pledging to continue the efforts to bring about further achievements in cooperation with the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He also commended the kingdom's accomplishments under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday toured the Bahrain International Circuit, the BIC's track and pit lane ahead of the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2022. His Royal Highness emphasized that the kingdom is delighted to welcome the F1 community back to the home of motorsport in the Middle East. His Royal Highness noted that Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix has become an important event in the global racing calendar and that the kingdom has a track record of hosting successful motorsports events thanks to the collaborative efforts of Team Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister highlighted that the Bahrain International Circuit's efficiency and enthusiasm for hosting motorsports events has enhanced Bahrain's position in global sports. His Royal Highness observed that the Bahrain International Circuit's completion of an on-site solar production facility has supported the Kingdom's and Formula One's net zero emissions. The facility, which covers the entire energy requirements of the Formula One weekend will be expanded to further offset BIC's annual energy needs. His Royal Highness was accompanied by the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Chairman of the Rushed Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Private Secretary of His Royal Highness, President of the Bahrain Motor Federation, and FIA Vice President for Sports Middle East, Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa.
The representative of His Majesty the, the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs is Hana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday awarded the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2022 podium finishers the champion Charles of Sudaria Ferrari, the runner-up Carlos Sainz Jr. of Sudaria Ferrari and in third place Sir Lewis Hamilton of Mercedes AMG Petronas. His Hana Sheikh Nasser presented awards to the, to the drivers at a formal ceremony that marked the end of the 18th edition of the Bahrain Grand Prix, the first race in the 2022 Formula One calendar. Reflecting on this year's race, His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that it represents a special moment for Bahrain to welcome so many in person international spectators to Formula One. He noted that Team Bahrain's efforts have underpinned the growth of motorsports in the kingdom, one of many achievements that are part of Bahrain's comprehensive development, a series of investments and initiatives led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness affirmed that the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister has made the Kingdom a global destination for sporting events. His Highness Sheikh Nasser highlighted the Kingdom's successful management and organization of international motorsport races. In this regard, he thanked all those involved with organizing such a successful race. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the National Guard Commander General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa on the success of the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix in its new edition. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed expressed pride in His Royal Highness's efforts, which contributed in the global event's successes, hailing His Royal Highness's continuous follow up of all stages of preparations and organization to hold this year's race, which has added to the many achievements made by Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Deputy Prime Minister Zahra Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa on the success of the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2022. Zahra Sheikh Ali hailed His Royal Highness's efforts in all the stages of preparations and organization to hold the races, which is a source of pride for all, as it become a new achievement and a success added to the Kingdom's achievements, which continue to be made under the leadership of His Majesty. Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He wished His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister continued success to achieve further progress and development for Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, on the success of the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2022. The Commander-in-Chief noted His Royal Highness's support and commitment to the successful efforts in hosting the international race, which contributes to strengthening the national economy and improving performances across all fields. He wished His Royal Highness further success and enhancing Bahrain's status at all levels under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of thanks from the Chairman of BCCI Samir Abdullah Nas on behalf of the newly elected Board of Directors in response to His Royal Highness's congratulatory cable. The Chairman expressed gratitude to His Royal Highness for the government's unwavering support for the BCCI. Nas pledged to continue efforts in representing the private sector and furthering its achievements. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the success of the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2022 was the result of the unlimited support of His Majesty the King to create the ideal environment for this global sporting event to succeed. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that Bahrain was able to present an exceptional version of Formula One in a new edition thanks to the direct follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, which 
contributed to affirming Bahrain's high position in organizing sporting events and establishing a culture of motorsports in Bahrain and the Middle East, as well as its effective contribution to strengthening Bahrain's position on the world sports map. His Highness noted that the race has achieved great success in all respects, which affirms that the kingdom is heading in the right direction towards the sports and entertainment industry. His Highness noted the great efforts made by the board of directors of the BIC and their keenness to integrate roles and work with all public and private institutions for the success of the race. He also commended the role of national caters in the race. In line with the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the aspirations of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Iman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Oil and Gas Holding Company Noga Holding, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued two resolutions appointing representatives of Noga Holding on the board of directors of the Bahrain National Gas Company Benagas and to restructure on the board of directors of the Bahrain National Gas Expansion. Company Tosa. Under the resolution, Mark J. Thompson takes over as chairman of the board of directors of Benagas, while Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa will serve as vice chairman. The resolution also included the appointment of Abdul Razak Abdul Hussein Jawahari, Abdullah Basagi, and Hala Mufiz as members of the board of directors of Benagas. The Representatives Council Speaker Fawziya Zainal delivered a speech at the 144th General Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union held in Bali. Zainal affirmed that Bahrain, thanks to the directives of His Majesty the King, has made great achievements in implementing plans and projects related to climate change and prioritizing providing a safe environment for humanity. She noted that His Majesty's ratification and issuance of Law Number 7 of 2022 reflects His Majesty's continuous interest in environmental affairs. Zainal also noted that Bahrain was present at the climate change conference of the parties last year in Glasgow and announced its support for international initiatives in the field of climate change. She stated that the launch of the national campaign for unforestation under the slogan Forever Green under the patronage of the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women is one of the most prominent initiatives in this regard. She said that the parliaments of the world need to unite to overcome the environmental change changes. And the Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adil Al Assoumi, delivered a speech during the 144th IPU General Assembly. During the speech, Al Assoumi called for the necessity of observing the principles of fairness and common responsibilities in the fulfillment of all countries' obligations in the face of the climate change crisis. In this context, he stressed the need to adhere to the principles of international climate justice in implementing the obligations in the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change. In his speech, the Speaker of the Arab Parliament affirmed the need to help developing countries implement their commitments in the face of climate change in accordance with the Paris Agreement. al Sumi stressed the need to eliminate the gap between the available funding and the actual needs of developing countries.